Hi guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new here, hi, I'm Rhonda and this is Talks with Rhonda. As you can probably already tell by the title, today we're going to a traditional wedding. It's my big cousin's wedding and it's a two-day celebration. I'm basically going to walk you guys through um, the process. So yeah, buckle up and let's go. Right now, I'm just doing my makeup and getting ready to leave the house. Now we're going to get dressed so this is the dress that i'm wearing it's a very simple white dress zoe and i are wearing the same dress there's um an all white dress code and then there's this pink headpiece that we're supposed to wear as well i'm just brushing through my baby hair That's pretty much it guys so now we're on our way to the family house so basically on traditional wedding days um, neither the groom or the bride are present at the beginning of the ceremony so it's a chance for the families to get to know each other learn more about each other and then the groom's family brings the gifts to the bride's family and yeah at the family house and here are the gifts we're now on our way to the bride's family house to bring the gifts and to introduce ourselves and um, to ask for the bride's hand in marriage, basically. This is me and my cousins. We're all matching.
we've went and introduced ourselves to the bright family and they accepted to receive us so now we're going to take seats <laughs> So these guys are basically the ones that do the communication between the two families. They they give a little bit of the family's history and where they come from and things like that. And that process takes a very long time, guys. We sit we were sitting there for a very long time. so as you can see the bride has only now arrived to the party um she actually comes in three times i couldn't film the two first times because um, my phone was dead but yeah this is the last time she comes in and that's when she's basically given to the groom's family she's now part of the family and the family puts uh, money bills on her forehead to welcome her and you know basically show that they're happy to receive her as a new family member <laughs> She is then asked to choose her favorite gift among the gifts and here she chose the Bible. And now the groom has also joined the party which means it's the end of the party. The two families are now together and form one through um, this couple. And, and yeah, so basically everybody dances together and yeah, that's the end of the first day. Hi guys! Today is a new day. I fell asleep last night, really. I was exhausted. It wasn't even last night, it was this morning. So today is day two. I'm already dressed. This is where, what I'm wearing. Um, we're getting, we're going to be a little, you know, simpler and lighter today. Zoe, say hi. Hi. Hey. Here we are on our way again, so day two of the wedding. Today is, it's going to be way shorter than yesterday's celebrations because it's just a small, you know, party to thank the guests that came in and all that. And it takes place at the, at the groom's house. <laughs> cut the cake and they pop the champagne and they're officially mr and mrs johnson <laughs> okay guys so this is the end of the vlog and of like the wedding i don't know if you guys can hear me but it's the end of the wedding and everything this is <laughs> okay anyway so yeah this was two days i hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching until the end 
If you guys can't hear me, I'll just do it later. So yeah, thank you so much for watching until the end. Keep feeling and flowing, and I'll see you next Thanks time. Thanks you guys for watching. It's the end, eh? In case they, they didn't hear what you said. Keep feeling and flowing, and I'll see you guys next time on Talks with Rhonda. Don't forget to please leave a comment and tell me what other type of content you would like to see because I'm officially back guys. Alright, bye!